Liana, please come closer if you have something to say. Yes, like my son is here. Yes, come closer, bring the skull. Shatter that poison relic of my ancient enemy, and with it the change of this prison. Huh. Well, this is the area you, um, you would see in the teaser my trailer. Son. Prince to my fiery throne. I don't like fiery thrones, no thanks. I think it's time we sealed this without Liana's help. What are you doing with that thing? That abomination of Asha! You who can stand at my right hand! Bring the skull to me, and you may yet be forgiven! Yeah, well. Forgiven for what? Liana's purging. I mean, Zana's purging. Well, okay, everybody. Sir, now is the time to rid yourself of that cute little thing. Cute. Hurry, my patience is wearing thin. I understand, Ted. What we have to do now is not. Yes, well, everybody, I'm going to show the last cutscene. So turn your uh, volume down to normal levels. I'll begin in five, four, three, two, one. Ten centuries shall the fortress stand, walls of spirit wrapped in walls of fire, and horned lords shall bow their heads to one not yet born of the darkest sire. One century of blood and strife the moon shall darken, and none know why. The resting place at last is found of the seventh who soared so high. Traitor! You've grown as weak as your mother! Curse you and Isabel for failing me! Have strength, Zareth! Use some of mine if you must! Ah! Hurry! Enough! Let the work begun by the seventh dragon be finished! Here today, by my hand! Betrayer! I shall hunt you like the car that you are! You and your pretty friend! Remember that I am ancient and patient. One day I will be free, and I will teach you the full measure of agony! From greed or fear, he will decide. The Chained One is left alone. The Relic's power yet untapped, and Ashan's fate still yet unknown. Ancient and patient, eh? Looks like the father is a poet. <laughs> Perhaps I could learn a thing or two from him. Uh, but unsealing him again would probably doom the whole world. So, her and dear, we could have talked about it without sacrificing thousands. Could have just sealed it ourselves. Also, the uh, narrator there was Menelag, strangely enough. It's always the dead people who narrate. I Prince of Persia 2, the Aragon game. Oh, it's always the... No, it wasn't Prince of Persia 2, it was Prince of Persia 3. So that's Dark Messiah of Might and Magic. Well, I've been told the proper title isn't Dark Messiah of Might and Magic, it's just Dark Messiah, and Might and Magic is the subtitle. So yes, I really want a classic Might and Magic game. These ones just don't cut it. Well, not quite enough. I mean, imagine if Dark Messiah was like, well, more like the first few games, but 
yeah. I, if Dark Messiah was as big as the first few games, that would uh, truly define Epic. Ooh, lots of people here. But Warren Spector. Yeah, a pity, though, that the Might and Magic series went downhill. And it's also a pity that Ubisoft isn't, uh, has a thing against modding the games they publish. <laughs> I mean, at least if an SDK was released, we could have turned this into a classic Might and Magic. <laughs> Special effects. Not many people working on the special effects. I didn't. I, I don't suppose they would need to in this game. It's all about kicking and slicing and spiders. <laughs> ah, Ubisoft! Please, just. Do something intelligent in the next year, please. The trailer, McGuff. What? <laughs> um, I'll probably take a break from uploading videos for the time being, seeing as it's Christmas and all of that. Plus, it'll give me a chance to... It'll give me quite a chance to see what game I'll LP next. Seeing as most of the old games that I want to LP either don't work on Windows 7 or uh, can't record. Oh, Might and Magic Brand. world artist. Only one person. Hmm. It did have a good soundtrack, yes. Especially the end boss. Ah, Sarith. Tursalyn Kirtley. Azana Moon Daily. After this, I've already run around Utez with an extra long muzzled desert eagle. That was fun. Yeah, that was fun. Oh, they had voice acting for. Lots of versions, I see. There's a missing character there. The, the Anna M M Ma. It's, it's, it's. Huh. Stupid missing characters. So the next game I plan to do, if it works, is Wizards and Warriors. Not the 2D one. The one where you get swarmed by night bats and trolls as soon as you leave the town gates. Yes, that one. <laughs> oh, that could be funny, that could. If it works. At least there are a lot of good game games coming out next year. Like 
Deus Ex Human Revolution. Um, something else. Why? Why is that the only one I can remember? Hmm. Oh, The Witcher Two. Yeah, that should be good. Interesting to find out who that assassin was. U.S. Director of Public Relations. Ooh. These credits go on for a while, don't they? Unless they have looped and I haven't noticed. I might as well begin testing uh, the recording of the next game immediately after this. I also need a drink. I also need to clear out the ice cream from the freezer. Does anybody want some ice cream? I don't think I can eat all of it myself. Ah, another missing character. Another one. Ooh. This is like Kingdom Hearts 2, only with single characters instead of whole words. <laughs> yeah, single player. Finally, we get to the single player area. Quality assurance is single player. Testers, eh? Ah, multiplayer. And if you're wondering, the Xbox version was uh, quite a bit different from this. It contained more levels in the single player. Uh, I think it contained an updated version of the multiplayer. But the upgrade in the single player was the upgrade system in the single player was a very linear. Yes. You had to pick from classes and... Oh, Disciples of Sarath winners. Uh, it's a pity you can't keep a community alive without an SDK! <sighs> uh, I mean, they, they could have learned a thing or two from Severance Blade of Darkness. Ah, so that's the end of the credits. Ha. Huh. Are you going to return me to the menu, or do I have to do it myself? Okay, I'll do it myself. Oh, no. Thank you! And thank you for watching! It was quite fun, it was. Getting over all those spiders. <laughs> Ooh. And, uh... The necromancer's gone because I killed him. Kind of sad, really. So, anybody, have a good month, and I'll see you next LP. Till then, everybody. Bye!